is mind, but the mind is not the all. Peace to you and you and you and all my fellow expressions of consciousness. In today's video, I'm going to read out and help you understand that there are some deep truths in the Quran, but they do not point to a separate self. They point to the pure self that you are. Non-dualistic Advaita Vedanta teachings in the Quran. They have just been overlooked because they have been taught in a way that says you are a separate entity from God. Not realizing that a lot of the, well, most of the sutras is saying, is, is speaking in a story way and a poetic way also. For it's the only way to talk about the imperceivable almighty God. You can't just be objective and say this is God. No. With the mind which is limited, of course not. So when we speak about the most high, we have to use storytelling. We have to use poetic language. So here are a few quotes that if you are to be sincere with me, sincere with yourself, you will see that it's speaking about the pure you. For you already are that which you seek, that G-O-D. As crazy as it might sound on first hearing. But let's look at how the Quran is pointing to your central nature, which is the truth of what you're seeking. So, first one. There is nothing like him, but he is all hearing, all seeing. Now, is there anything like your body? Of course, there are many bodies. Is there anything like your name? Of course, many people have your name. It's not speaking about the physicality. There is something that you are that there is nothing like and that is all hearing and all seeing. But you have been overlooking it through your attachment to mind the belief you are separate from the all. That is, please answer this sincerely, wholeheartedly, for it's the only way to reach truth. Now, you are aware right now that you are watching this video is that a yes or a no please be sincere of course you are aware right now of the experience you are having now that awareness can that awareness be seen Can you see the awareness with which you are using to view experience? Can you hear that awareness? Can you smell that awareness? Can you touch the awareness you are using that you say you are aware right now? Can you see it in any way, perceive it in any way, in any way, other than just knowing you are aware? If you are to be sincere and honest, of course you cannot see the awareness you are using to perceive experience. Yet you are perceiving experience because you say, I am aware. So essentially what you are cannot be seen. Essentially what you are cannot be perceived in any way. because you cannot see your essential self. Now, the next part, but he is all hearing, all seeing. Yes, that awareness is aware of all experiences. 
Within experience, you have seen, you have hearing, for example. So that awareness is aware of all experience. So it's all hearing, it's all seeing. For it's outside of experience, because it knows experience is happening. And that is you. You are awareness that cannot be seen. Next, there is nothing comparable to him. Of course, for a thing is an object. A thing has some sort of dimension to it. A thing can be pointed out or described, even drawn, painted. But as we saw before, the awareness the awareness that you are is no thing. It is not within experience. It is not tangible in an objective way. Even mind is a thing to the awareness because you are aware of mind or thought. So essentially you are not a thing. Thus there is no thing that can, can be comparable to your no thingness. You are no thing, yet you know things. So no thing can be comparable to you. And the last one for, for this video. Vision cannot grasp him, but his grasp is over all vision. Again, if you're following this video sincerely, you may know what I'm about to say. Vision cannot grasp him, as I've asked you before. Can you see the awareness with which you say you are aware? Of course, you've got to be sincere, no. But his grasp is over all vision. Again, that awareness is that which vision comes out of. For vision, for seeing, is an, is an experience. So you know seeing is happening or not happening. As in, you are aware if there's seeing happening or seeing not happening. That awareness, again, is prior to seeing even. This is not to make anyone feel bad about themselves. My videos are just speaking of truth, experientially help any true seekers for you are never essentially your essential being is never in any danger for as we just saw in this video you cannot even see what you are so how can you even believe that which you are can feel any suffering because that which you are essentially the awareness is not alive so to speak it's not in experience you have nothing to fear you are the love for which experience comes out of even the idea of god is known to this awareness that you are a book is known to the awareness that you are because a book is just a perception or the sensation of the book the sensation of the book no matter how holy we say it is, it's simply just a perception or sensation. And these things are known to what you are. They are experienced within that which you are. Hope I've said enough for now. I may do another video um, showing you some more quotes to help you understand how you should be reading these holy books you have to read it from the correct understanding some many do know how to read these books and I'm not the only one that could concur with the deep true meaning behind these amazing amazing texts amazing sutras and surahs if you like the video please like the video share 
or subscribe. Have a wonderful day or evening. Peace to you, my fellow expression of consciousness, of pure awareness.